Good morning. Let's check the oil clearances, shall we? So in the last video I talked about plastic gauge. And if you don't know what a plastic gauge is, it's this here. No, it's not this little piece of paper. It's what's inside the little piece of paper. Let me show you. See that little piece of green right there? The thickness of this is roughly 0 0.017. And what you do is you take, cut a little piece of this, the width of the bearing cap that you're testing. Let's say I'm doing one of the rod bearings. I'll take the cap off, clean all the oil and stuff off it. I'll cut a little piece here, the width of that journal. And I'll lay it on there, put the cap back on, torque it back down, then take it back off. And what will happen is that we'll squish this little piece of plastic. And then I line it up with these little marks here, and it tells me what the clearance is. So let's check this. Cat back on. Go <clears throat> for rod cap to thirty three foot pounds. Take it back off. You see that? That little squidged piece there? And then part of it is on the journal too. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Oh, that's millimeter. Yeah. About two thousandths. See what the spec says. Yep, two thumbs. All right, so I went and double checked. The clearances are supposed to be 0 0.002 on both the rod and the main caps. So I'm going to check a couple more of these, make sure they're within that uh, tolerance, <clears throat> and I'm going to button up this bottom end. That's back together. Got my timing, my new timing chain on there. A lot less slop. And so I was getting ready to put the um, the cover on, and and I brought it out the driveway to get power washed. And look what I found. Um, I don't think that's supposed to be there. I don't know what the heck happened there. So. It was siliconed up. I'm gonna clean this up with some uh, lacquer thinner, get it, uh, get all the grease off it, and I'm gonna do the same thing right now because I just don't have the time uh, to go all the way to Vegas to uh, rip apart a junkyard motor to get a new timing cover. I'll do that next time I go to pick apart. I have the bottom end buttoned up. I got my uh, timing cover on. So I'm gonna put the bolts back in here and get this thing situated so I can flip back over and then we'll start throwing the uh, the top end on this thing. Alright, I got the bottom end buttoned up. I got my uh, crank pulley harmonic balancer uh, reinstalled and I'm dumping in the uh, lifters and after the lifters I'll clean the head, put the head gasket on, get the head ready to go back on and then we'll take it from there. Typically I would replace these, but I don't have any money, so I'm going to reuse them. The one thing I am looking at though is these holes here because that's how the top of your engine gets, gets oiled. Oil goes 
comes, oops, I just blocked it off with some debris. Oil comes in through this hole, pumps up the lifter, comes through this hole, pumps the oil through this hole in, in the uh, push rod, you know, comes up out of this hole and lubricates the, uh, the rocker arm. And this is how the, the, uh, the upper end of your engine gets lubricated. And then the oil just dribbles all over the place up inside the head and runs back down into the engine. So what I'm doing, just because when I start this up, there's going to be, you know, no oil in the, in the galley. So it's going to take a second or two for uh, oil to get pumped through the system. I'm uh, coating all these parts with assembly lube. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to get a fresh set of gloves that aren't covered in grease and oil. And I'm going to get a clean rag and some lacquer thinner. I'm going to clean the deck here, make sure there's no oil residue on it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the head, clean the head with lacquer thinner. And then I'm going to set the, the head gasket in place and I'm going to put the head on. If you buy a uh, top-end kit, you're going to get all of the, the gaskets that go on the top end of the engine. The valve cover gasket, the head gasket, thermostat housing gasket, the intake exhaust manifold gasket. It's a one-piece gasket, does both. And, uh, you know, an assortment of other things for like the uh, throttle body and all that stuff. <laughs> you want to make sure your gasket surfaces are really clean. And uh, you should probably also, not probably, you should get a new set of head bolts. Don't reuse the old head bolts. Because these head bolts are designed to, when they're torqued down, they stretch. I mean, the parts are cheap. I think that um, the, head gas, the, uh, the head gasket kit costs somewhere around $60. So, and that came with bolts, somewhere around that neighborhood. Torque sequence. According to Chilton's manual, you're standing on the driver's side of the engine. And the one, two, three, four, fourth row of head bolts in, center head bolts. Uh, the center head bolt on the passenger side is number one, and you work in a circular pattern, working your way from the center out to the ends. So this would be number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And it's a step up sequence. You start out by tightening the bolts in that pattern to 22 foot pounds, then to 45, then retighten at 45, and then tighten bolts one through ten, all these to 110 foot-pounds, tighten bolt 11 to 100 foot-pounds, and 12 to 14 to 110 foot-pounds. You put a little dab of oil on each one of the threads of these bolts, except for bolt number 11. This one up here, that would be the front bolt on the driver's side of the uh, engine. That one needs the high temperature thread sealant, because um, that goes straight into the water jacket. Once everything is done, then I would recommend that you let it sit for about an hour, then come back and recheck and retorque those bolts at 110 foot pounds, with the exception of this one being at 100, making sure that you know, as that head gas is getting squeezed, it's not releasing some of the tension on the bolts. Probably, if they're brand new bolts, it's probably not going to be an issue because these bolts are going to stretch a little bit, and that's what's going to give you your clamping force. Once your head bolts are all torqued down, then uh, get your push rods, put them back in the location that they came from, put a little dab of assembly lube on each one of the valves and on the tip 
of each one of those uh, push rods. And go ahead and put your uh, rocker arms and, and uh, clamshells back in. Button everything up and clean this surface off. The surface, the gasket surface for the uh, um, valve cover gasket. Make sure the gasket surface on the valve cover is clean and dry. Use a little uh, lacquer thinner to clean those surfaces. Put the new gasket on, button up the top of the engine, and then it's time to put the thing back in the car. One more thing before we wrap this uh, engine up, uh, I got to put the distributor in. I'm not going to put anything else back on this engine until the engine is in the uh, back in the car. And then I'll put the exhaust intake manifold to start putting everything back together. So in part four, uh, we'll come back when the engine's in, and I'll start buttoning things up, and we'll get it fired up and see how it runs. And in episode four, you're going to see it either go or you're going to see it blow. So. Until then, appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. It means a lot to me that you do that. If you like this video in this series, go ahead and hammer away at that like button and share this with your vast social media network. That helps the channel immensely. If you haven't done so yet, down underneath this window is a subscribe button. It's big, red, it says subscribe. And if you click on that, it'll turn gray. So go ahead and click on that. I'll wait. Did you click it? Cool, you're awesome. Now, right next to it is a picture of a bell. Click that bell icon so you'll be notified of future uploads. And until next time, guys and ladies, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and have a splendid day. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.